Transcribing. If I had to give one answer to the question, how do I become a better improviser? It would be transcribe. Unbelievably important. So why is it important? Well, I guess if you're here, you've decided to play the saxophone probably because you've been inspired by a certain player or a certain recording of a saxophone. Um, and over the years, you've developed your, your own taste, your own preferences, and you want to replicate that. So there may be a performance that you are thinking, I want to sound like that. I want to I want to be able to do that. So do it. Okay, transcribing is essentially taking that that you like and replicating it, doing it. Now the whole process of doing it, there, there are two ways of how to transcribe. Um, what I used to do when I was a teenager is, is be up in my room for hours uh, with my CD player, listening to it, writing it down, rewinding, literally note by note, certain solos of my favorite players, note by note, rewind, note, next note, no, next two notes, all oh, bonus. You know, write it all, writing it all out. Um, took hours, but by the end of it, I had you know a nice. I had the solo all written out, and then I could play along to it, and it was great fun. There's there's a second way that my teachers said is far more ben beneficial, um, and subsequently, I've told my pupils to do it this way, and it's far better, generally speaking, and that is to transcribe it orally to do it by ear, okay? So the same process essentially is you're listening to a phrase um, and then working it out um, directly rather than writing it down. What it does is it forces you to, to internalize it. It forces you to take it in, take in all the details, all the rhythm, the notes, the phrasing. Um, it's like an intense oral training exercise. Um, and then again, by the end, you'll know the solo and then then you can write it down if you want to um, after you've done the process. Because obviously if you've got it written down, it's nice to have as a reference if you then want to give it to pupils or if you want to, um, you know, play it years later when you've forgotten it or whatever. Um, but the process of learning it by ear is hugely beneficial. Now, for this process, I've sort of broken it down into three steps really. Step one is that you have to listen to it, okay? Pretty obvious, but listen to it. Listen to the whole solo um, loads of times, loads of times. Listen to it until you know how it goes. Obviously, you're listening to it because you like it. Um, so that's step one, listen. Step two, which is a really important one here, is to sing it. So you're listening to it you're working it out and then you're replicating it with your voice, okay? You're singing it. So listen, sing, and step three is play, is to then transfer that onto your instrument, okay? Listen, sing, play. Step four could be then to write it down if you want it as a reference, but only do that after you've done, after you've completed it with steps one, two, and three. So I'm going to come. I'm going to demonstrate it now. It might be a quite long process to watch, but um, I, I kind of I want to give you an idea of how to do it. So a good way of doing that is to demonstrate it. So I've got this um, amazing uh, uh, thing. It was just it was on my um, it was on my phone from years ago. I'd forgotten all about it, and I listened to it, and it was it blew me away. This first phrase. It's um, Sunny Stitt on. There will never be another you. Have a listen to this. Okay, okay. amazing. Um, never ending, never ending opening phrase. So um, 
but absolutely amazing. So if you want to, I've listened to that. I've thought that's amazing. I want to be able to do that. So let's go through it. So we're going to take this opening phrase he plays. Um, <laughs> Right. Um, so that's I've listened to that first phrase. So that's the first phrase. Now I'm trying to remember it and sing it. Right, now I've got to get the rhythm right as well. So he comes in on beat three, so it's one, two. Ba, 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 we are. And then the next two notes. Ba, 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 we are. Okay, so I'm pretty confident with that now. I've got that opening phrase, I know what the notes are. I'm, I've sung it, I'm now gonna try and replicate it on my instrument. So we're in, for alto, we're in um, C major. Uh, which is la C, so the opening note, ba 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 ba, it's the third, so it's an E, ba 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 ba, three five six one. Okay, so it comes in on beat three, so it's three four one two. So three, four, one, two. Right, that's the first phrase. That's the first note of the next phrase and it comes in on beat one of the next bar. to go to but it doesn't it goes I think Thank you. 
stop there but you get my point right so I'm I'm playing it I'm listening to it I'm working out what it is on the on the notes now I know that first few bars of that solo um, I've internalized it I know how it sounds in relation to the key of the tune now this brings me to another point which is this process this oral process then allows me much much easier than if I wrote it down to transpose it into a different key. Because if you want to transpose something, it's way easier to do it orally. If you know how the tune goes, for example, a really well-known tune, Happy Birthday, it's much easier to sing it in a different key than it is to play it in a different key. Um, so, you know, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, da da da, ba, da, 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 da da If you want to do it in a different key, happy birthday, da 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 da, ba, da, ba, 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 da da. Much easier, right? I'll get all the notes right because I'm using my ear. Exactly the same concept. Why do you want to play in a different key? Well, in all jazz situations, to be able to play certain phrases, certain licks in different keys is hugely beneficial. So that's why this process is um, far more effective, generally. So remember, listen, sing, play. Try it yourself. 